So I'm sitting here in tears after screaming or just being upset because my son, Christian, he has autism, he has epilepsy. I guess his stomach is bothering him and he went to the bathroom. So he had an accident on himself. So I assume he tried to clean it up. But now I have a bathroom with shit in the drawers, shit on my floor, shit on the sink. And I yelled and I just, he tried to hide the pants and the underwear and his shirt and put it in the, the drawers in the bathroom so and then he changed his clothes and put something else on so i know he didn't mean to do it you know like you you know he doesn't mean to and he's he tried to clean up the mess he didn't put it in the trash can though he didn't come and tell me he just changed his clothes and his underwear because he was embarrassed. And the look he gave me when I'm like, Christian, where is your stuff? Where is your, why did you change clothes? Go in the bathroom, I see shit everywhere. Literal shit everywhere. And I'm like freaking out. Like, where's the clothes at? Because I know there's more. And he's like just staring at me because... He talks sometimes, but he doesn't talk all the time. And he doesn't communicate all the time. And he just has this look on his eyes of, like, fear and frustration and just hurt. Because I know he's not doing it on purpose. But, gosh, some days are so hard. And not just for, you know, not about me, but for him, he's 12 years old, and he's trying so hard. And then sometimes, you know, parents, we just lose it, you know? So, this is special needs parenting. This is real life. This is... trying your best and sometimes you just have a bad day so I had to love on him some and you know just kind of make sure he's okay grab the crackers grab the Powerade all that stuff and now I'm gonna go clean the bathroom but good god It, it just, it just, it's, it's not always pretty. It's not always pretty. Anyways, talk to y'all later. Bye.